Hermes journey continues. Hello everyone, my name is Amy. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. As you can see from the thumbnail, I am doing an Hermes unboxing. Those of you who follow my journey would know that I am trying to score my very first Birkin from the retail store. And if you wanna watch all my previous unboxings, have a watch over here. First of all, I wanna thank one of my subscriber viewer here on this channel. Hi, Joanna. She sent me another care package all the way from New Zealand. So I transferred the content into this baggie here. Oh my gosh, all those chocolates that she sent me. This time she sent me all dark chocolate. She definitely knows what I love. Plums and almonds, dark chocolate, sea salt and saffron. Oh my goodness. 76% um, there was a 70% which I already finished because that one is pretty much like the smoothest easiest to eat right after dinner a uh, 92% I love the really dark chocolate as well sometimes I just need the magnesium I don't know uh, there's just something about cacao uh, really pure cacao there's 86% inside nestled in all the chocolates she also sent me an Hermes lipstick Joanna, <laughs> thank you so much, but you really didn't have to. Um, it's so expensive, these things. I, I really would never have expected it at all. So anyway, you do get your very beautiful orange packaging if you're into Hermes. You know how crazy this color packaging <laughs> makes all of us feel. And it slides like this. Oh my gosh. Look at this packaging, it's just so wonderful. It even comes with its own little dust bag with the beautiful Hermes logo in a gold detailing. And that's the color. Oh my gosh, this feels substantial without being extra heavy. Sometimes I feel like some makeup, you know, the very luxurious packaging, they're very heavy. This is just right. And she sent me the color 52. Satsine Korai Aqua. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Look at this very vibrant coral color. I thought it would be more of a really peachy coral, but it's it's like a true red coral. It is so pretty with the Hermes stamping on it. It is absolutely stunning. This is my favorite part, guys. It's magnetic. Oh my gosh, it's so luxurious. Thank you so much, Joanna. I'm gonna cherish this. I'm gonna start wearing this going forward in my videos. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, my most recent video, I got ready on camera. I shared my skincare products and I also tried on a brand new clean at Sephora brand called Merit. And oh my gosh, it is my new favorite way. I'm not even exaggerating. It's my favorite brand of makeup now. I literally use everything from their line except for the blusher. I still prefer a powder just because I have these freckle things. So um, the cream blush didn't work on me. But aside from that, everything from that line is wonderful. And this is the result. Like, I, I have hardly any makeup on but I feel put together and I just I just cannot say enough good things about it. So check it out if you're interested. I'll definitely be doing more getting ready with me, I think, in the future. They have only seven products available on their whole line, including a brush. And uh, this is just a result of using five of their products, no foundation. And uh, all I'm using is just my own blush and my magnetic lashes and that is it. All right, let's get back to the unboxing and stop the rambling. But you know, if you guys watch my channel, you know that this is a journey. It's not just about showing what I got. It's also about telling you the thought process and the, you know, the development of the journey itself. So in this bag right here, I have this beautiful box. I haven't opened it yet because sometimes you can sort of cheat and open it and repackage it, repackage it. but this one I actually have not opened yet um, because I, I really don't think that I need to 
check it. Sometimes you just want to check your items when you come home just to make sure that you got the right color or the right size. It tells you how to clean this item. Really nice. This is my first time buying their 90 centimeter silk square. I was actually interested in a red color with a zebra in the middle. I also wanted to try their other one. There's this new one called the Wow, which is double sided. It looks really, really interesting on the website when you look at it online. But just because it looks nice on the website doesn't mean that it translates well on your skin tone or, you know, just on you, on yourself. So anyway, my essay opened the drawer to take out the one that I was asking about and he saw this and then he was like oh we have this apparently this scarf is very hard to come by um, it's literally always sold out the moment it comes in um, if I didn't take it my essay would have reserved it for one of his clients so I'm like well I'm here duh it's like of course I'm gonna try it on and the thing is, I actually do remember this scarf because I do look at their catalog and this was one of the scarves where the model was wearing as a shirt. So there are uh, multiple, so many versatile ways of wearing their 90 by 90 centimeter scarf. You can wear it as a scarf, obviously. You can wear it as a belt, you can wear it as a shirt, and even as a as a sort of like a bandana on your head. Here is the tag and the number in case you're interested. I think this scarf is very popular because of its very iconic circuit uh, links design. As you can see, it's a really neutral print. It's really pretty and really easy to style, I feel, rather than a more busy print. So scratch the red one that I was looking at. Their 90 by 90 centimeter scarves are so addictive because of the price point and also because there are just so many, many beautiful art designs on each of them. Moving on to the larger two bags, they come in these shape boxes, which I think should give you a pretty good idea of what these might be. Those of you who also watch our luxury live show, so I do have a live stream show that I host with Kat. Some of you were suggesting that I should try these shoes, <laughs> which I already bought when you guys were saying it. I am in love with these shoes. Um, I know the moment I show them, all of you will know which ones they are because they're quite popular. And I'm a little sad. <laughs> anyway, so Here's the story, okay. Here's the shoe. So these are the Colette um, moccasins, loafers. By the way, guys, these are the very first ever loafers that I completely head over heels fell in love with because I used to actually hate the look of loafers. I'm not joking. I use the word hate because I actually really dislike the look of loafers on me. I'd rather be either more casual, so be in a sneaker or be in a ballerina or a pointy heel. It just, I cannot be in the middle, basically. I just didn't love the look on me. So I never, ever, ever liked the look of loafers. Even when the Gucci Prince Towns and all of those shoes, um, the mules were so popular, every time I went to try them, they just look ridiculous on me. They made me look stumpy and just not elegant, not, not the way I liked to look anyway. It just never went with the way I dressed. I was already telling my essay that, you know, chances are I'm not gonna like them, but I still wanna give them a try because I hear great things about them. And I am not kidding. The moment I put my feet inside them and I look in the mirror and I look down, I'm like, I, I could not believe how much I love them right off the bat. Not only were they super comfortable, but they also looked super elegant and just worked with my outfit. And that day I was just wearing my brown coat with super ripped jeans. And somehow these loafers made it work. The sad part is that I actually tried these loafers in white. I had the size 37 on my right side and I was about to put on the left side 
and it was a 36. It was a mismatched size. They could not find the other side of the shoe. And apparently these shoes are super hard to get. They only get one or two pairs ever. There was only one more pair in the whole of Canada. So I had to actually prepay for them and waited for that pair to arrive, except that it never did. So when my essay told me that the white pair was not available, I was like, boo hoo, because I really liked the pair that was white. I originally wanted the pair that was white, but I was open to other colors. So I asked him, do you have the black? So apparently they do have the black. It is in size 37, as you can see. Oh, by the way, I really love the fact that they are already sort of semi sold. So it does have a bit of the um, rubber parts already. It's an annoying thing to buy brand new shoes that you can't wear because you have to wait till you resole them. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I almost have a feeling that that white pair was has been tried on many many times and therefore they felt okay even though they were still on the tighter side. But unfortunately I think these will have to go back and I am so so sad because of that reason because I have to say if you never liked loafers in the past, give these a try. The Colette from Hermes because they are just so elegant. I'm gonna just put pictures of when I was trying these um, and when I found out that still the 37 didn't work for me. I really needed a half, at least a half size up. I guess my essay will let me know when they get another size in, if they get another size in, or maybe I'll just have to choose another style of shoe altogether, which I'm super sad about because I absolutely love these. And I, um, yeah, devastated, devastated because I wanted the white, they didn't have it, the size was messed up, and then the other pair was sold out. And then I was like, let's just take the black, but the black was too tight. I think I'm a true 37 and a half in those ones, that's why. So anyway, that's the long story um, about those shoes. Uh, but I still wanted to show you guys because some of you might be interested in the fact that there is a loafer out there that is worth buying because like I said before, I hate loafers. I hate the look of them on me, but these I love. Here's another pair of shoes, obviously. I actually uh, bought these at the same time as when I tried on the white ones. And th this pair is even more funny because this pair, the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't like them. My essay was like, are you sure? Because these are apparently super popular and they sell out really quickly. And I was like, uh, okay, I guess I'll try them on. So they are in the color gold. And here they are. What do you think? So, okay, let me show you both sides because that, I don't know if some of you will have the same sort of first impression as me, but the moment he showed them to me, I was like, oh, I don't like them. They just look so grandma-ish, right? There was another essay that came by checking on me and saying that the uh, tassel part is a very classic way of how loafers used to be made, which I had no idea because like I said, I used to never care about loafers. But the moment, I'm not even joking, the moment I put my feet in, I was like, completely converted and fell in love with the the feel and also the look that it gave me. This is a 37 and a half. I feel like this style of shoe is actually uh, not true to size as much as this one is because I feel like if they had a 37 and a half in this, it would be my perfect size. Whereas this one in a 37 and a half feels a little loose. I actually will use another insert in the ball of the feet just to fill out the space in the front. I don't know if I just have a narrow feet or something like that for LMS shoes, but they just feel a tad loose. Uh, so if I don't put a insert in the front, then my heel will come off when I walk, uh, but they still are my size and they really don't have anything else anyway. Um, so as you can see, the heel part is a little bit more elevated, uh, just a slightly more sort of dressy looking, slightly sleeker looking. Um, these ones have a much softer leather, so they will mold to your feet more, I feel, and they probably will stretch more, but um, no amount of stretching will accommodate 
me because it's for me it's the length of the foot my big toe is literally touching the front of the shoe uh, aside from that the width everything else is fine it's just that the length of it is not long enough for me um but i don't know if you can tell like both of them are tapered but just the way this one tapers just looks more feminine um in any case as you can see just the fact that this one is a longer shoe more pointy shoe just gives off that more feminine look these are kind of like your casual still really put together look type of loafers whereas this one is slightly more dressy uh, but it looked fabulous with my you know jeans with holes and because on that particular day i was wearing my brown giant coat it just looked amazing together because they were the same color last but not least something that comes in a small packaging the item this time came in a different box actually i was surprised because my first box was different so this time it came in a black box and it opens like so and it slides out just like the um quartier that i was unboxing the other time so this is a leather black box my cdc ring came in this box so you see it's different and there was no outer box for this one it just came in this box i guess the inside of this one is leather so i don't know if it's just because it's a different item or they just randomly take any boxes that they see uh, i'm not sure so you guys maybe can let me know but i got another ring so presenting to you is the kelly ring in the rose gold with four little diamonds the underside of the box the outside is coated in their beautiful black leather and it's stamped with Hermes in the front and the inside of this box is velvety and as you can see the Kelly ring looks well looks like the Kelly closure because that's the whole inspiration behind this ring so if you look side by side with my ring they have uh, a very similar width but some of you were asking me also why I bought the CDC ring and not the Kelly ring the first time like I explained in my get ready with me Q&A when I bought this CDC ring I specifically wanted to buy a ring that goes on my ring finger for my right hand my right hand is my dominant hand therefore it's my bigger hand and I also have a bit more arthritis on this hand so the joints just look a bit more deformed as compared to my left hand which is slightly more slender if you were to really compare the two uh, my left hand is slightly more slender and is a little bit more stable that's why i chose the cdc ring for my right hand because it just really was able to pop more with my slightly bigger hand or slightly bigger jointed fingers keep in mind i didn't have this ring the very first time i tried it this is how the cdc looks on this hand but if i were to show you the difference between this one and the kelly you would you might agree with me that the kelly is just a little too it's a little too um subtle for for this hand for some reason i don't know what what it is there was just something that i decided when i first tried these two styles of ring the first time i i just fell in love with this one more for my right hand uh for some reason it did it doesn't look as much of a difference today maybe because i'm feeling a bit better today but um when i went back this time to get my black shoes <laughs> obviously i had to buy more things uh i just you know was still thinking about the kelly ring and i also wanted to stack the kelly ring with my wedding band so the idea is that i sometimes don't want to wear my solitaire ring just because this ring is actually a bit tighter and some days i just have more inflammation and therefore my joints and my hands get bigger 
And so I just wanted a ring that was more comfortable that I can still wear with my wedding band because my wedding band is larger. My diamond ring is smaller to keep everything in place. So sometimes I have a harder time wearing this ring. So I decided I want to buy the Kelly ring because I already liked the look of it. Um, except I didn't need another ring for this hand, but I will probably try to wear it with this hand with my wedding band sometimes if I feel like it. Uh, and I just feel like it complements really well. Honestly, the Kelly ring doesn't really need another ring to be stacked with it necessarily because on its own, it's already really beautiful. I have both very, very iconic rings, the CDC and the Kelly ring. Oh, just loving, loving, loving my fine jewelry. So I love the look of this stack together, but I also love it alone. So sometimes I might just not feel like wearing the diamonds at all. There's still a little bit of diamonds on this ring, so it's not like I don't have any diamonds at all. And it's just a more sort of sleeker, demure, really elegant, softer look as compared to the CDC ring. Let's just remove the Justin Clou for a moment. I think you would agree with me that this Kelly ring is just a lot more elegant and just goes really well with that slender, more slender <laughs> look of my left hand. Whereas this one, it's a little grungier. It goes really well with this hand, which is my dominant hand. Um, it can be worn alone or stacked with other rings that are also super edgy and still look amazing. So I, uh, I just love the versatility. So now I have both the most iconic rings from Hermes. I'm so happy. I, I love I love both of these rings so much, but um, I still love this one the most. This is still my very first choice which is why I bought it first, but I still couldn't stop thinking about the Kelly ring. The Kelly ring is just so pretty. And the moment that I realized, wait a moment, I have a left hand where I can still wear the Kelly ring and my left hand is slightly smaller and slightly more slender looking. Um, why not get it so that I can also wear the Kelly ring when I feel like it. Like I said, it doesn't really need the stacking, but if you feel like stacking the Kelly ring with a very dainty uh, or a daintier piece, especially with diamonds, just because it already has diamonds, then it really works. I really love the look of it. Do you own these items yourself as well? Have you tried their different rings? Have you tried their loafers? What do you think of them? And also, have you tried their lipsticks? I already know they're good because Kat raves about them. <laughs> so I'm so excited to wear this. Thank you again, Joanna. It's so sweet of you. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed my Hermes journey continue. Thank you all so much again for watching. If you're brand new to this channel and you love this type of content, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. <laughs>